just sitting here wondering how you can stalk and chase and single out a person because of their race and kill them and not and not be charged for that you know the law in uh, Florida says that you don't have to back off but you don't have to back off when you're being defensive not when you're being offensive and when you follow someone and you initiate a fight between that person because you were stalking them based on their race even after the 911 dispatcher told you to stop following them how could that possibly be a defense how could that be called self-defense when you harassed him and follow him because he was black and you know you said on an hour one one tape you know Zimmerman said that he was tired of people you know getting away with this and he's assholes and he called him a coon and you know so clearly it was racially motivated clearly you know he he took an admonishment and a directive from the 911 dispatcher and disregarded it because she told him not to follow him we we're, we're the police will take care of it but he continued to follow this young boy you know it was raining so the young boy was running you know Trayvon was running because it was raining anyway based on the conversation he had with his girlfriend and you catch up to him and people hear him screaming for help they hear him calling for help you know he's out there defenseless and and vulnerable and scared he's a young teen and you get into a fight with him because you know you have a gun so you know that innately you have a better upper hand than this young kid who's defenseless who's weaponless who has no idea what's going on and you fight with him and you 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 shoot him because you know you have the upper hand you know you have the the possibility and the capabilities to harm him because you would not have confronted him if you were weaponless so you were you went out there stalking persons you know i guess in his mind he thought he was a police officer or whatever and you murdered a kid and then they say, oh, they agree with him. There's no evidence that it wasn't what he said it was. There's a lot of evidence that's, that, that it wasn't what he said it was. If you look at what he said on the 911 tape, you look at his actions as the, the town watch person. You look at him coming out there with a gun. You look at the racial epithets that he used on the 911 tape. You look at the fact that the dispatcher told him not to follow him and he's stalking this kid. And instigated a fight with him shot the kid and killed him how much fucking evidence do you need that this was not self-defense what what do you you hear neighbors saying that they heard the boy screaming for help how much evidence does the florida police need i mean it's clear to me and i'm just a lay person so i know it has to be clear to a law enforcement agency that what he did was wrong and my heart goes out to the martin family you know I think about this case every day and I'm watching it closely as it unfolds and I'm anticipating that soon he'll be arrested and you know Zimmerman he did the wrong thing and I'm hoping that with the FBI stepping in and the Justice Department stepping in that soon he will be brought to justice and brought to the helm for what he did which was first degree murder he intended to murder this boy he knew what he was going to do and I'm just hoping and praying that it, this situation works itself out, not just for Trayvon, uh, but for America and for the and for the black community as a whole.